No, I think it was uh, you know just an example. Chief Harvey also got up with me, so Chief Harvey and I were just want to walk over, and make sure she's okay. And you know it's a hot day, and sometimes that happens, but we're happy to be there to do that. You know, it's just another example of the one HP moment. You know, I think all of us as firefighters are so grateful to work in Huntington Beach, and this is why it's just this community pulls together constantly, and this is just one great example of that. Where they're out here as a tribute to the, the first responders and to everyone who lost their life that day and they're mimicking and going over what the first responders did that day to rescue people and I, I mean you couldn't be more really proud of them and more thankful for what they're doing. It is estimated that 200 people chose to jump over a hundred stories to their death rather to burn inside those towers. Imagine being in the position that those were the only two choices you had in your life. How am I going to die? It's actually amazing, so I'm 37, it's amazing for me to think back and, and realize that that was 20 years ago because it still feels like yesterday. Uh, the feelings that we had as a country and that level of connection that I spoke about um, in my speech up there today, um, I think that's a huge, uh, that, that's, that, that is very much a thing that we need to continue um, pushing um, to our younger generation. I can't forget because I was very much involved with it. My entire family was. We were all shaken as, as was a, 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 thousands and thousands of other families. So, so Ronnie unfortunately passed two weeks ago from a heart attack and it was interesting because 9-11 changed him. 9-11 gave him a new lease on life. My age is showing uh, desperately, but uh, you know, compared to what happened on that day to the people that were really there, this is nothing. So I applaud the open water folks and all the young kids that are out here that have no recollection of this. It's important. We uh, the world's changed, but they kind of have to know why. Just thinking about how all of our lives were changed and forever, and the commitment and the sacrifice that all those first responders and everybody did and all of our military. I guess the least I could do is honor them by getting on a good sweat and thinking about them every step. The next step from our Operation Open Water 9-11 Honor Challenge is to start training for the Veterans Day Channel Crossing. We escort veterans across the channel. Uh, it's a very spiritual process. Uh, it is a tough goal to accomplish and it really unites our team and there's a lot of healing powers and all of that.